Yeah, Ruben Gallego is on the stage, and I would tell you that this crowd is no longer cautiously optimistic. They are now nervously optimistic, meaning they have an idea that this red wave may stop and that these candidates might win. So we're going to listen to Ruben Gallego now as he takes the stage and gives a fire and brimstone speech. You will not pharma get whatever you want all the time. We did that. We did that. We said we're actually going to fight climate change. We're not going to deny it. We did that. And when things got bad during COVID, when people were scared, we said we're going to rescue America. We're going to make sure that you're going to come out of this stronger than when you went in, and you're not going to be held sacrificed to the economics of a pandemic. And that's how we came out of this stronger than ever. We Democrats did that. That's why we're winning right now. But let's talk about why they're not winning. With everything that's going wrong in this country, with everything that's been going wrong for quite a while, what has their answer been? Nothing. Nothing. They can't answer what they're going to do about inflation. All they can say is we'll create more hate. They can't answer what they're going to do about pharmaceuticals. All they can say is we're going to create more division. They can't answer what they're going to do in the future dealing with climate change. We're just going to try to scare you more about brown people, about black people, about gay people, about just scaring anybody, but they have no solutions. And when the voters of Arizona, the voters of this country, were looking for answers and they looked at the Republican Party, they found nothing. So, why are we winning? Because we said, yes, we can. When we saw inflation was running through the country, we passed the Inflation Reduction Act, we said, yes, we can. When we knew Americans were suffering out of the pandemic, that it was going to be hard for them to restart their lives, we passed the American Rescue Plan because we said as Americans, yes, we can. And when the pundits and when every journalist thought that Arizona would turn red in 2022, we said, no, 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 we're the Arizona Democratic Party, and yes, we can. Let's go win, Democrats. All right, that is Congressman Ruben Gallego, who won his race tonight. He is definitely one of the more fiery speakers that we've heard here at the Democratic Party tonight, and he's riling up this crowd, this crowd that is optimistic that they can prevent the red wave that was forecast to hit Arizona today. We're going to send it back to you guys at the news. All right, Morgan, thank you very much. That is one of two races, I believe, that we have officially called tonight. We have Ruben Gallego's race uh, for Congress and also Raul Grijalva's race for Congress officially called for those incumbents, correct? It's just two. Just yeah. two yes. out yeah, so, of and quite a few. And a fiery speech from Mr. Gallego there. That's what he does. He's very good at yeah. that. And, uh, you know, saying, and him saying that there was no red wave tonight. Well, uh, you know, Mr. Gallego, respectively, uh, we got to wait and see what mm -hmm. happened today when those votes are counted. Because, again, you know, Carrie Lake was talking about, like, they're going to keep on winning and building on, 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 on the momentum she felt going into the election night. And I would expect that these leads are going to get cut down as we start seeing those votes come in. Have 